This certainly isn't a well-groomed graveyard. Most of the graves are overgrown with twining weeds and roots. Gravestones without names. The gravedigger mentioned something about wild boars rampaging around here, but they must have been really big specimens and damn wild too. And of all places, they chose to run wild here. Strange. That's the Gordon family crypt. The musty skeletons of my ancestors are just behind this door. I'm not interested in paying them a family visit. That's William Gordon's grave, my great-grandfather. He died in August 1981. No idea why he wasn't buried in the family crypt. That's William Gordon. The wall has collapsed right in the middle without having a demolition ball taken to it. it. Takes a few hundred years for that kind of thing to happen. Locked. That's probably the priest's house back there. Locked. That's probably the priest's house back there. That's quite a recent grave. There are even a few flowers still lying on it. That's quite a recent... Ancient headstones. It looks like the design hasn't changed in hundreds of years. Why should, why should I go and... Those must be wild boars. There's supposed to be plenty of them around here. Or demonic hellhounds, as they say in the local fables. A lighter with Samuel's face on it. I... One of Murray's... Same as the shredder in the museum. There's something lying in it. It's soft, damp, and cold. Yuck! An old bucket. Oh, I hope that isn't the toilet. A rusty old garden implement. A rusty old rake. An oil lamp. Doesn't seem all that old. Maybe it still works. Ah, oh, that's better. I can see now.
I hope that the light... I'm guessing that's paint then as a gasoline for cleaning stuff. Ugh, smells something like that at least. A couple of luminous smiley stickers. <laughs> Whoever lives here must be scared of the dark. Damn, don't say somebody lives here. There's something lying under the bed, but I can't get at it. box. Somebody scribbled something on the lid. Hmm. Can't decipher it. The word definitely begins with an R, though. Let's take a look inside. A rag doll. Pretty ugly and worn out. I recognize it. I I've seen it before. It was Ralph's. Yep, that's his doll. Mr. Bubby, or whatever he called him. Strange. How'd it get here? And why has Ralph left it? He never used to go anywhere without it. What else have we got? A luminous sticker with a smiley on it. And a cork from a bottle. This must be Ralph's shack. Or his hideaway. No thanks. I don't really want to know what's died in there. The floorboards here sure creak loud. The floorboards here shook. Oh well, let's... Damn it, locked. A padlock of the... escape tool of choice, in the comics at least. I'd need years for that. I reckon the lock would grind through the file instead of the other way around. The file is worn down. At the very... Another door. Was kinda obvious. There's storage behind it for logs. It stretches right to the door. <laughs> There's no getting through here. I can't get out of here. There's only timber back there. The file is worn down. bolted from the outside. But how can that be? <laughs> hmm, a peculiar shadow. I think I know where that mysterious shadow's coming from. Well, how about that? And so the key falls into my possession. Fits. As I thought. 
full of junk. So let's... Damn. That looks like one of the robes and the masks from the order that was after me. Hmm. But at the same time, it's also proof that the order existed. I'll take it with me. There's some paper in the robe. Seems to be a letter to the Order. Quite badly torn. Unable to stop the evil, already sacrificed. His objective or something happens to me. I'm not completely certain, but it appears to be a request to cover up all traces of the Order. That would explain why the robe is in the shack. I'll put it back. Perhaps I'll find something useful after all. A corkscrew and a yardstick. They look in reasonable shape. I'll take them. Whoa, chainsaw. I've got a feeling that this baby's gonna come in handy. Alone in a shack in the woods, in the night, with a chainsaw in my hand. If my father could see me now, I'm sure he'd be so proud. Hmm, unlucky. Tank's empty. I won't be able to manage that. I'm gonna need a... Tank's just about half full. Hopefully that'll be enough. I filled up the chainsaw, but the tank's lid is missing. All right, that ought to hold. Now we can get going. <laughs> the rotten boards shouldn't be a problem for the saw, but I ought to check what's underneath them first. The floorboards here, Shook. Interesting. There's at least half a meter of space below the boards. The shack must have been built on stilts. The next time I'm being pursued by hellhounds and hide in a shack, I'll look out for that as I go in. I'll just cut myself a trapdoor in the floor. It can also be closed again in an emergency. Side through the hole. Good. Let's try it. I'm better leaving the heavy junk here. Good. No wild beasts for miles. Weird. No tracks. The beasties couldn't have just disappeared into thin air. Uh, uh, no! <laughs> Ooh. 